Hi all, and welcome to another new video. This video I want to share what I've been doing with an uh, indoor growing system here in this small greenhouse in the conservatory. Set it up mainly as a place to store all of the seedlings, but it's morphed into something a bit more than that. And I've had some difficulties and, and some successes. So just a quick overview. Here in the top, these plants have done pretty well. I've got some squash growing here. This is all um, Cape Gooseberry Fissilis. Um, the savory isn't doing very well at the end there, but I'm hoping. I tried using these pots and trays, but they're just not for the little seedlings, but they're just not working out very well because the water just pulls on the surface and washes away the seedlings, so they're not looking all too good. So I've got uh, St. John's Wort, Yarrow, so on. Corner here, I've got some lupines which are looking absolutely lovely. They're a bit wind blown because I've been hardening them off gradually outside. Around. Then I've got this is some more St. John's Wort Yarrow. This is looking pretty decent. And then got some Agustache on the end. These two here, this this pot here, is supposed to be sea kale, but I just haven't managed to grow anything besides moss. I've had quite a bit of problem with moss throughout the whole greenhouse. So, uh, as you can see here, very very mossy. I think that's because I haven't managed to get enough sunlight in here and also not enough um, ventilation. If you look on that side you might be able to see that the sun's coming in from this direction so ideally this greenhouse would be best positioned with the back against here. If you look over here it's actually quite well shaded which is why when I got it I got some quite cheap lights of Amazon and just Elastic banded them at the bottom to the top there, just helped a bit. But as you can see, the kale here is just awfully leggy, it's grown all over the place and it does not look healthy at all. So you can see there's a little bit of sunlight right at the end, but it'll be quite a few hours before you get sun coming in from that corner from the west. But nonetheless, I've got chives, chamomile, lemon balm, mustard greens, hyssop, some kale. It's quite nice. I got some cuttings from a friend of mine. And this is um, lemon geranium. And back there, oh, I slipped my mind now. But yeah, I've planted those cuttings ones with the lemon geranium are looking really nice and have quite a nice smell from the two. Bottom here I've got some potatoes which are well overdue planting out, some mustard greens, more lemon balm, some more kale. Again not looking too good. So I started watering with the uh, bottom watering side, so pour water into the trays underneath and leave it to soak up. That was just quite a mission to do this afternoon in a week. And I don't think I watered them often enough as a result of that. So I've been switching to using um, the spray can, so I'll just give them a bit of a spray. This has the advantage of also um, giving them a bit of resistance, so blowing them over a bit to build stronger stalks. So 
So I think the modifications that I'd really like to make is first of all move it over onto the, the south facing side of the house and secondly I want to get some really good quality lights in here but I just don't have the budget for it at the moment. The, these lights have kind of worked. I mean the lemon balm's grown pretty well on that and so has the chamomile but I'd still like to have something a bit stronger, higher Kelvin, get all the benefit. Anyway, these should all be planted out in the next week or so. I'm hoping they do a bit better out in the garden. Anyway, hope this has inspired you a bit. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.